Hello everyone. Our job for today is investigating a VLAN implementation. We got a addressing table in this activity. We will observe how broadcast traffic is forwarded by the switches when VLANs are config and when VLANs are not config. Part 1. Observe broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation. Step 1. Ping from PC1 to PC6. The ping were not successful because PC1 is on a different VLAN than PC6 which don't allow the devices to communicate with each other because they are separate logically. S3 sent packet to PC4 because it was on the same VLAN as PC1. Step 2 Ping from PC1 to PC4. The pings were successful because PC1 and PC4 both belong to VLAN 10. So the path of the ARP request is the same as before. Because PC4 is the destination, it replies to the ARP request. PC1 is then able to send the ping with the destination MAC address for PC4. Because PC7 also belongs to VLAN 10 and the ARP request was for VLAN 10, switch will forward to any devices that are connected to VLAN 10 in their port. Part 2. Observe broadcast traffic with the VLANs. Step 1. Clear the configuration on own tree switch and delete the VLAN database. The VLAN file is stored in flash vlan.dat. Step 2. Reload the switch.
step three. Click capture and forward to send AERP request and pin. Part 3. Complete Reflection Questions Question 1. One PC in VLAN 10 sends a broadcast message. Own and devices on VLAN 10 except itself will receive it. Question 2. One PC in VLAN 20 sends a broadcast message. Own and devices on VLAN 20 except itself will receive it. Question 3. One PC in VLAN 30 sends a broadcast message. Own and devices on VLAN 30 except itself will receive it. Question 4. The frame will be dropped. Question 5. Each port is a separate collision domain. Question 6. The broadcast domains are divided by the number of VLANs in the switch. That is all for this activity. Thanks for watching.